So, Matthew will be Matthew. Alright, so, the premise of this story is that this takes place 30 years after the events atop Mars Lighthouse um, and Golden Sun Lost Age. Um, that means Isaac, Garrett, and friends are all around 37 to 38 years old. Um, some might be even a little younger because I believe Ivan was... I think Ivan's still in the 30s too, but I think he's like 32 or something like that. 32, 33-ish or something like that. Um, because he was clearly the youngest out of the entire group. No, actually, Sheba was the youngest out of the group. No, they're probably around the same age. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that of this. Back in the day, which is great, you love it? Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Brad's old as dirt. <laughs> Crad should be dead, but he's not. So the ancient did unthinkable. They sold away the power of alchemy so no one could use it. Civilization was saved, but the physical world itself began to die a slow death. For the ancients did not realize that alchemy was what held Weyer together. Without the force of alchemy, lands went barren, seas went dry, and the planet became, began to crumble. And civilization itself fell into the darkest of ages that came before its final, fatal ex extinction. We didn't actually extinct though, so... The ancients had sealed away alchemy so to save civilization, but they had doomed Wayard. I used to have all the promotion of cardboard stuff from this game when it came out. Kept bugging the guy at the GameStop until they gave it to you. I should have did that too. <laughs> I didn't have anywhere to put any of that stuff though. But while the oceans turned and life on the continent slid slowly toward oblivion over the eons, a legend was kept alive that held the key to Wayard's survival. If four elemental lighthouses could be ignited, their energy would trigger the Golden Sun event over Wayard. The Golden Sun would unleash the force of alchemy, saving the world. 30 years ago, a group of heroes did save the world with the Golden Sun, but now, a shadowy threat is spreading. The Dark Chaos. So yeah, these headphones still work, um, and so long as I don't take them off, the piece will stay in place, but as soon as I take them off, this, this headphone right here that I'm touching will just fall. And you'll see the cord dangling. I have to use them until Sunday, though, unfortunately, because the earliest uh, time slot that Geek Squad had open was Sunday at, like, 4.40 in the afternoon. So it's, like, late Sunday, which is surprising because, you know, most places don't stay open late on Sundays. It has been 30 years since the Golden Sun event over Wayard. The world was saved and changed. Eight heroes took part in the quest to light the elemental lighthouse. Sizz. Lighthouse Sizz. That is definitely an S. Four of these brave warriors were from the town of Vale. The warriors of Vale, as they are now known throughout Wayard, are praised and blamed for their efforts. Yes, let's blame them for saving the world. They had long lived at the foot of Mount Alf, home to the people charged with the sacred duty from the ancients. That was to protect Soul Sanctum, where the forbidden keys to the elemental lighthouses were hidden. It was also home to the godlike wise one who protected Wayard. Yo, this this monologue is long though. <laughs> Vale kept the Sanctum secrets for generations, ever vigilant against the return of alchemy. But the warriors of Vale were among those who pursued the forbidden return of its power. This is true. Because of their courage, the world of where it was saved 30 years ago. Also, I forgot to ask you guys, how was your day? How was your week? I hope you guys are having a good week. But while where it was saved, the new dawn of alchemy has been anything but bright. For while alchemy brings life, it has also unleashed chaos. Control! When the Golden Sun event happened, raw power exploded from the sky above Mount Alf. Don't work for the week, so now just chilling. Oh yeah, school's out for the weekend. I'm assuming you don't have any classes on the weekend. 
Mount Elf was largely destroyed by the explosion, and not a trace remains of the peaceful village of Vale. The planet itself is still caught in the violent throes of rebirth. Natural disasters continue to torment the people of Weyer. But the survivors live on, driven to, to new desperation, and the good people of Vale, though forced to resettle, continue their sacred vigil. They persist in their duty to Soul Sanctum at Mount Alf, or at least what remains of it. We've been following this bird forever, by the way. Two survivors live near the crater where Vel once was. The area rocks with the uh, uh, um, This area rocks with eruptions, but still they met. Um, still they watch Mount Alf from the newly upheaved Goma Plateau. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't speak it. Oh man, I left my water upstairs. They are Isaac and Garrett, two of the warriors of Vel. These men praised and blamed for the dawn of this new day, studied the artifacts of the Golden Sun carefully. And from their lookout cabin, Isaac and Garrett also trained their children to be powerful warriors. For this world will soon need a new generation to face the darkness of this new dawn. I'm interested to see how this touch screen is going to work without, you know, a touch screen. Your roommate is streaming with one of her friends at the moment, so she made a condiment kit. I'm not exactly sure what that even entails. <laughs> uh, it's probably a, con a cake made out of, like, mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise. It was about as good as it could get, considering it's a good- Oh, you actually tried some? Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. So yeah, I still don't know if we're going to do a lot, any of the secret bosses, uh, or try to find out the Jenny. Um, I really do want to finish this playthrough before Fire Emblem Gage comes out. Um, and I feel like if we try to do all the extra goodies, we'll be uh, pushing it really close. Yo, Isaac looks the same, but with a goatee. <laughs> he looks like a taller version of himself with a goatee. What a relief to have that journey behind us. Let's just drop our packs here, son. You're getting stronger, Matthew. Oh, wait. To sit through that again, aren't we? We're, we're gonna have to sit. Up <laughs> yes, I'm probably gonna have to fast forward to it. Uh A few moments later. Is it done? I think it's done. It's not done yet. I lied. Don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't know nothing about anything. Uh, let me see if I can... Where's the uh, frame throttle? Uh, fast forward speed increase to... We're going to say 10 times. Just because I want to see how fast that is. That's... That... That what? That's still slow. <laughs> Either that's really slow for fast forward or the text just literally that slow. At least you're not in it. Oh god, don't remind me about the gold password, man. I was doing that password for like a year. Also, Vayu, how's it going, buddy? Welcome on back in. I'm glad to see you here. I 
I've been working on my YouTube content lately. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Every time I click out of the arc, the retro thing, it clo it closes. Yeah, I've been working on my YouTube content um, a lot lately, trying to at least get things put up. I caught you were posting on your channel. Oh, okay, cool. I'm trying to increase it weekly. I'm trying to really just get... I would love to get the entirety of the Golden Sun series on YouTube before the end of the year. We're, we're still half... I think we only just reached the halfway point of one. Realistically, I'll probably finish uploading one by the end of this month. So I'd say two is probably going to take me till the end of May. And this is if I'm able to do two to three videos a week. I make a dream. Okay. We're there. <laughs> We're there. We finally start the story. I'm always curious as to why this game didn't show the the other parents. Like, why are the only parents we got to see in this play uh, in this game was Isaac and Garrett? Like, I wanted to see Felix and Jenna and Sheba and Mia. I don't really care about the other guys, but Felix, Jenna, Sheba, and Mia. Uh, Mia. Those are the only guys I wanted to see. We don't, we don't know who Ivan got with. We don't know who Mia got with. Or, at least, I don't know who Mia got with. I don't know who Garrett got with. I don't know who was crazy enough to actually get with Garrett. Um, well, except for Sheba, because I saw that Sheba showed some interest in Garrett towards the end of the second game. But, uh, even I still don't think that that pairing would work. So, eh. Nope, this is the last Golden Sun game, unfortunately. Alright, so, how do I touch that? Oh, so I just hit Y. Oh no, I just hit L. Matthew, this young man is a promising Earth adept, just like his father was when he started his adventure 30 years ago. Actually, my father was a uh, Earth and Fire Adept. He was a Chaos Lord, so he was like doing this new thing. He must be in his 40s. Who, Isaac? Uh, this young man is a promising Earth adept, just like his father was um, when he started his adventures 30 years ago. Just like Isaac, who led the famous warriors of Vale, Matthew is a person of few words but strong convictions. Isaac was a man of few words until the second game, when he wouldn't shut up. <laughs> no, I think... He's talking to the here too, yeah. I believe Isaac is 37 or 38. Because I, if I remember correctly, when we left on our journey, he was 17 or 18. I can't remember which one, but he was he was one of those two. So if this is 30 years after, um, I don't think a full year even passed during the uh, between the first and second one. Between the start of his journey and the ending of it. Um, I believe it was maybe almost a year, or if, if at most, like... At least half a year, right? But I don't think a full year passed. I think he's he's between forty. He's between thirty-seven and thirty-nine. We'll say that. That's enough work for now. Let's call it a day. It's sad that they made him look exactly like his father, though. I mean, he literally looks like a young, um, his father when he was young. I would have liked to see more Jenna in him, right? The Sacred Mountain was partially destroyed shortly before the Golden Sun event. 
The mountain once stood over the town of Vale, now also destroyed, and Soul Sanctum is located at its core. Um, probably not there anymore though. The Golden Sun. Alchemy, the force of the four elemental powers and the study of how they combine to create relatively a reality is known as alchemy. The ancients sealed away the force of alchemy and the warriors of Vel went on their golden sun quest to restore alchemy. And the golden sun. This powerful explosion happened about um, above Mount Alf 30 years ago, releasing elemental energy throughout Weyard. Though the golden sun event brought the dying world back to life, the magnitude of the power released has caused disasters. We were the ones who saved our world from the destruction by doing so, uh, but the Golden Sun also brought chaos. Though our world has been reborn, people are desperate and they're driven to fight like animals. I mean, they were fighting like animals back then too. And while civilization is ruled by chaos, this land is rocked by eruptions that explode outward from Mount Alf. All of our, con all of our continent of Angara, even all of Layard itself, has changed so violently. I fear I know why. And this is going to say way it is the town, the, the continent we live on, or the world we live in. The world of Wayard is flat, disc like planet composed of the base elements of earth, wind, fire, and water. The elemental forces of alchemy once sealed away have returned to Wayard, bringing new life, but also destruction. So we basically never got rid of the destruction, right? We got rid of one destruction in lieu of another destruction. Uh, Angar, this continent is an upper layer. It is divided by long mountain ranges that make travel between its regions difficult. The north side is, of Angar is cold, while the southern part is very dry. Mount Alf and the Gumma Plateau are in the west. We had first destruction, but we... What about second destruction? <laughs> if they make another one, I wonder if we're going to get a third destruction. The key to understanding alchemy is at Mount Alf, within that place where it all began, Soul Sanctum. This ancient temple hidden in Mount Alf was said to be the birthplace of alchemy and the repository for the elemental stars. After the stars were used to restart the lighthouse, creating the golden sun, the resulting havoc devastated the sanctum. So it doesn't even exist anymore, does it? I forgot they were flat earthers. <laughs> flat earthers. Wise one, this absolute being looks like a floating boulder with one central eye. It watches over way and holds unimaginable power. The wise one is known. Ooh, excuse me. The wise one is known to be what the ancient called a philosopher's stone, and creature they forged to alchemy. I swear I'm not sleeping. Uh, wise one, I know you're watching this. Why won't you guide us? Tell us how to save Wayard. But if you did that, it'd be too easy. Now Garrett, Garrett looks different. Um, that mustache is not doing it for him, though. <laughs> I wonder if there are any spear, uh, layer conspiracy theories. <laughs> All the books are lies! Layer is round, not flat! This Earth adept left his hometown of Vale over 30 years ago and returned to find it destroyed by the Golden Sun. He lives in a cavern that looks upon distant Mount Alf, with this, uh, where he trains his son Matthew in the use of synergy. Oh, there you go again, Isaac. Wise one this, wise one that. He's the only one that looks like he got older. Look, wringing our hands and invoking the name of that godlike hunk of rock isn't going to help matters any. We did what we had to do to save Wayard. We released Alchemy. Now it's sheer force is out of control. I know, Garrett. That's why we must learn more about the Synergy Vortexes. This old friend of Isaac's fought alongside him as a warrior of Vel in the events leading to the Golden Sun phenomenon. It, he is Tyrell's father and a fire adept, just like his son. He lives near Mount Alf, helping Isaac monitor the area. Who? Uh, I gotta know. Who the heck chose to be with him? I mean, I guess he's not really that bad a person, but... Seriously, I just figured everybody hated him. There's no edge. The government just keeps away from the edges so we can't see the loop. These vortexes have come in the wake of the Golden Sun, and they are tied to the Daily Morning Moon. 
Uh, synergy Vortex. These are distortions in space that suck the elemental energy out of the world. And from addicts. They're thought to be an after effect caused by the Golden Sun. And the Morning Moon. This immense synergy vortex once caused unimaginable destruction in the center of the Angara continent. The misery it caused was so widespread it became known as the Morning Moon. So this must have happened in between 2 and 3. Because... We, I don't remember this happening in 2. Garrett probably gets all the ladies because of the mustache, right? It's It's got to be because of the mustache, right? Fortunately, our old friend Ivan has made that a whole lot easier by building us the sore wing. This warrior Vel traveled um, with Isaac during their quest 30 years ago. He now lives in the nearby land of Calais. He has a, he and his daughter Karis are Winnetips, descendants of the Anemos. An old civilization uh, that long that thought long gone. Okay, so if he lived in Calais, I wonder if he man he married somebody related to uh, Hammett's wife. Eh, no, because that would be like marrying your own sister or something like that. His red hair makes me want to give him a nickname. That would not be family friendly. <laughs> now, now. Uh, soul ring. This remarkable invention allows the wearers to glide upon the wind. Soul rings are hard to make and so, um, and so are quite wear. They should have said, as so are quite wear. They missed, they missed a chance on that one. Now we can quickly find search of uh, synergy vortexes as they pop up around the uh, veil. Ah, wrong button. The village lay at the foot of Mount Alf until the Golden Sun event, when Alf exploded, devastating the area. The people of Vale have settled elsewhere, but most have made their home around the new Goma Plateau and the Goma Mountains. Most importantly, we can fly over to the impassable terrain around Mount Alf and reach Soul Sanctum. I bet you his son's already in getting into mischief. I wonder if the wise one is even in Soul Sanctum anymore, given all the eruptions nearby. Then again, he's not flesh and blood like us. So maybe all this doesn't even bother him. He probably lives in a different plane of existence than us. That's all the more reason we should take uh, sorbing lessons from Karis. This young Gwen adept has long known Matthew and Tyrell, often visiting them at their Goma Plateau cabin. Her father, Ivan, was a warrior of Vel. She has inherited her father's indomitable spirit and powers of observation. I mean, did we consider Ivan indomitable? Seemed kind of, uh, mm. I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Unwilling to fight it a lot of times? She's every bit as disappointed as her father, so we couldn't um, be in better hands. Well, I will give him that. He is definitely uh, disciplined. Get off the roof, Tyrell. And there we have it, chat. We have the annoying character of the game, Tyrell. Constantly doing stuff that he shouldn't be doing. Ever. It's interesting that everyone is called a warrior of Vel when most of them... Yeah, it, it, it's weird, right? There's only four of them that are actually from Vel. Isaac, Garrett, uh, Felix, and Jenna. Uh, but all of them get the name. It, it's even more weird that they actually said that only four of them are from Vel. But then gave the entire title to the entire team. Weird. Uh, Tyra, this young man is a fire adept, following in the footsteps of his father, Garrett. He has a reputation for being a troublemaker, but Matthew is still proud to call him his best friend. <sighs> Matthew, 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 you gotta raise your standards, buddy. You gotta raise them standards. I'll be down before anyone knows it, Karis. We can literally see you. Especially when their actions resulted in the destruction of Vale. Don't be stupid, Tyrell. It's slippery up here after all, um, last night's storm. And you can, um, oh, you can fall for all I care, but don't break the sword wing. Oh, wow. <laughs> she said, you know what? Just fall off the roof already, but leave the wing up here. Don't be so uptight, Karis. I've got it under control. That fool son of mine has taken Ivan's sword wing. Every now and then you get, um, 
You can use the emotion menu to communicate what you think. Choose the smiling face on the left to respond in a glad, easygoing response. Gleeful, sad, angry. Uh, to show irritation. Um, clearly we're irritated, right? Don't snap at me. You're supposed to help keep my son in line, Matthew. Wait, wait. What? Excuse me? It's my job to help keep your son in line? Excuse me? When did I become his father? That's your job to keep your son in line. What? <laughs> what? I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Did he really just get mad at me for snapping at him because his son is doing something stupid? And then try to pin the blame on me? <laughs> like you're thinking one way the game is thinking something else? Pretty much. <laughs> it's my job to keep his son in line. Wow, okay. Maybe after we leave on our journey, but no, your job. Handle your kid, sir. We got to get that sword away from Tyrell before he breaks it. I like how Matt was like, yeah, he's gonna break it. Not Matt, uh, Isaac was like, he's gonna break it. Okay, so I can't use the... What do you think you're doing, Tyrell? It won't let me use the uh, the control stick, unfortunately, so I have to use the D-pad. So, the walking might be a little awkward, because the D-pad on the GameCube controller is really small. Just in time, Matthew. Hey, isn't it fun? Golden Sun won the main story after the time skip started on the roof. Isn't that a cool coincidence? The first one starts on the roof, the last one starts on the roof. And, uh, does anybody remember or remind me what happened in the first Golden Sun while we were on said roof? You're a sensible kid. See if you can stop that blockhead. Again, why do I have to do your job? Stop your own kid. Never noticed that roof gate. If I recall, we fixed our roof and then Garrett came up and destroyed our roof. Again. Starting to see a similarity uh, to between Garrett and Tyrell. You can definitely tell Tyrell is Garrett's son. They do the exact same things for the most part. Oh, wow. She just shoved me in the way. She's like, yeah, go in and do your job. <laughs> Not happy about it. Well, you weren't the one who had to look after him all day. <laughs> no, cares, no, cares, no. Karis, no! <laughs> Not like this, Karis. You don't have to be this. You don't have to roast him like this, man. <laughs> oh, man. She said, You're not the one who had to look after this baby. Don't come any closer, Matthew. I told Karis that I only wanted to take the sword ring out for a quick spin, but she wouldn't let me. She was concerned for your safety, uh, Tyrell. Flying it without proper instructions is too dangerous. Even a wind adept needs special training to fly a sword ring. You can't, you can't possibly pilot it yet. Oh, come on. How hard can it be? I mean, you just jump into the wind and act like a bird. What? That's bird brain, son. They're going to drop like a rock into the valley below. You're wrong. You just don't have any faith in me, Dad. I'm fed up with the people not taking me seriously. He's going to do it. There must be something we can do to stop him. Well, I don't know. 
Maybe use some of your synergy, like move or lift or grab or catch or anything? I don't know, maybe use halt. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> He's beyond reason. All he's chance to re is to render the serving useless before he takes off. But break it? I'm not scared. Not scared at all. If you take off, you won't be able to return here to the plateau. You'll drop towards the forest below. This is great. But wait, I really am dropping lower. Oh, I'm sorry. We only told you like 20 times. Oh, now he gets it. <laughs> You don't have the synergy to maintain altitude, Tyrell. Controlling the elements with the mind is known as using synergy. Those who use synergy are called adepts. Masters with earth, um, masters over earth, wind, fire, and water. Many effects are possible through the use of synergy. But Dad and Isaac have the power to fly it. That's because they're older, wiser, smarter. I said smarter and wiser. It's the same thing. Uh, and more powerful. I said stronger and more powerful. You know what? Let's just say they're better. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, adepts are those who can use uh, synergy. Uh, adepts are rare. Um, are the rare descendants of an ancient culture that have long since passed. Wind adepts are especially rare. Yeah, it's because there's probably like two of them left. Maybe three. But you're not, Karis. You're an apprentice adept, just like me. But I'm a wind adept. I'm already used to controlling the wind. Ah, uh, it's true. I'm dropping lower, spiraling faster. Help! What a disaster. Tyro won't last long down in the forest. It's too dangerous. That isn't helping, son. Don't give up. We'll save him. I can't show my concern for the situation? What, you wanted to be happy about the fact that he's falling into a ravine? I've got it. You can fly over to the for um the forest valley, then land at the cave. It's his only shot at surviving. It better um I better tell him quickly. Listen, Tyrell, help me! You're already too low to make it back up here. Ah, uh, you're right. What can I do? Fly to the far side of the forest. There's a small peak with the cave there. I'm falling too fast. I can't get there, Isaac. I'm surprised Karrison just used Whirlwind on him. I hope you're right about this, Isaac. This is no time to doubt yourself. You said you can fly, so fly. Fly to the cave, then take cover. We'll get you as soon as we can. You think I can do it, Matthew? Then I give it my best shot. Just go already. Don't waste another second, Tyrell. I should have said I was actually scared for him because, I mean, it's Tyrell. He's kind of... Mm, boop, boop. So he go he could he could easily mess this up. You'll you'll come and find me, promise. You're my son, I won't leave you to the wolves. Now get going. I would. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Not my own kid. But I mean he kind of deserves this, right? Better come get me or else. Is that a threat, sir? Is that a threat? After you stole the sword ring, you jumped off the roof and after we told you umpteenth millions of times not to you put yourself in this situation you threatening me now yo i said we leave him we just leave him he's doing it he's gone oh tyro really can make it to um to the other side of the forest you're that confident um you're that confident well positive thinking is just what we need isn't it i mean if i had said anything other than positive thinking you guys would have been mad at me or told me it's not helping You have to let me and Matthew go with you. I'm worried about my father's sword ring. It's so incredibly difficult to make them. We know how valuable the sword ring is, but... And I feel responsible for Tyrell, too. If I had only kept better watch over the sword ring. Nonsense. My son is always acting like a fool. You're not to blame. Thank you. Finally taking some responsibility for your own child. Gah. Garrett, we should take them along. You can't be serious, they're just kids. I'm dead serious. They're willing to brave the forest below to help Tyrell. They have every reason to, um, reason to. Just let us take care of this. But they want to help. 
This is what we've been training our children for, assuming their duty to look after the world. Well, no offense to kids, but... Uh, no offense to the kids, but they're going to slow us down. Tyrell is all alone down there. Tyrell is more resourceful than you give him credit for. He could fend for himself until we reach him. Sorry. Little acid reflux because I had a really good burger. Um, and tater tots and bacon and stuff. Um, and... I don't know, maybe I'm not digested any well. well, I don't know. Hmm, if you say so, Isaac. And I left my water upstairs, so, yeah. Sad face. Sag. I'm going to give Tyrell such an earful for taking the sore wing. Yeah, hit him a whirlwind. My, what fire you've got in you uh, for a wind adept. Karis? Oh, my bad. I did. I read the wrong one. Let me try it again. My, what fire you got in you for a wind adept, Karis? Good. You'll need it out there. I really like the addition of the bow weapons in this game, by the way. Now, we all need to get a move on. Tyrell will be waiting on us. Head inside the cabin, gear up, and then meet us at the bridge to the east. Wait, am I not already fully geared? Gear up quickly, we need to be on our way. I thought I was already fully geared. The heartburn means I'm a fire adept? <laughs> Boo, I don't want to be a fire adept, though. I actually want to be a wind adept. Isaac asked me to give you, um, give something to you. Because if I'm a wind adept, that means I can potentially fly. I want to be a flyer. Let me help you put that on. Watch how I look at, um, at your items and then how I equip one. She's, she's, uh, doing something weird in my face. I love this menu. Now, find the rest of your gear, then equip your weapons and armor. Hurry, we need to rescue Tyrell. One more thing, make sure you record your progress in the t uh, travel log now and then. Watch how I do it. Fly and read my- exactly. Who doesn't want to read a mine? Yo, Karis is bae. I love a girl who'll save my game for me. Because <laughs> Lord knows I have terrible issues with saving games in RPGs. Isaac says it's important to keep track of your adventures, so it's best that you get into the habit. Yes, ma'am. I will do so. Save my game every time I open my menu. Probably. Alright, the map. We'll keep the map up there. Alright, so, uh, items? Oh, uh, no, I need to go to equipment, right? No, it's under items still. I didn't really have much to equip, though. What synergies do I have right now? I got move, growth. Wait, I just start with growth now? Interesting. We started with growth instead of uh, quake. I guess they changed the way the classes work in this game. I'm glad I went up. I'm gonna be honest, I did not know that was up there. Um, which means I probably never got those padded gloves in any of my playthroughs. Not that you actually needed it, but...
Was there anybody in Golden Suns 1 or 2 that we know of that had green hair? I can't think of anybody. Karis has got really beautiful eyes. Let's meet up with Garrett and your father. Do you remember when to meet him? Yep. Okay, then lead the way. Head east from the cabin, then keep going to the cliffs. Wow. Why would you ask me if I remembered where it was and then tell me where it is anyway? I'll never understand video games that do that. Like, do you remember how to get to this place? Yes. You just go this way, right? That's what I said. Alright. Let the adventure begin. Oh, wait, wrong way. We're supposed to go this way. Do, 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 do. This music's pretty dope, though. I could be wrong, but I think that that baby had green hair. Baby? Now those two should have no problem um, making their way down from the plateau um, uh, by themselves, and we'll follow the distance. Yes, I get your point, Isaac, but that this has got me worried. Don't be. It's a great chance to see them in action, as long as they don't get it over their heads. No way. Too dangerous. This is a bad plan. They had a. They have to learn how to handle themselves. This is a practice session. My son is in danger. We have to reach him as fast as possible. Remember, being an Earth Adept allows me to feel what's happening in the forest. Tara made it to the far side of the woods. He's taking shelter. Fine, fine, you win. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what baby you're talking about. I can't remember a green hair baby, or any baby really, besides Eolio. And Eolio had bright red hair, which is weird because his hair didn't match any of his parents. So do I have your word that we'll let them handle their, um, their own battles? Hmm. Well, Garrett, I want an answer. You know what? It's totally possible that I even just adopted Karis. Yes, we're eavesdropping. Don't look so shocked. That's the only way to find out anything around here. <laughs> I love her. Yeah, of course we're eavesdropping. You're not going to tell us anything. How else are we supposed to find out? Right, Matthew? We're at everything. Playing, um, they're playing something for us, right? I wouldn't be so carefree if I were you. Not when they're scheming behind our backs. But we weren't. I mean, we're just strategizing, that's all. We decided to let you fight your own battles as we descend from the plateau. I suppose you want an explanation. Um, can I say no? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I just think that it, this is a great opportunity for two of you to improve your skill. Now that you know our big secret, how about we head down into the valley? Head for the far path. That's the one that ty uh, takes us to Tyrell. Not that way, Matthew. I like your gumption, Matthew, but you can't do what you want now. Find Tyrell. How dare you guys get in the way of my creative uh, ex exploration? This game is trying to block my... Monsters are nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Stay on your guard. You're on your own against the critters in the Goma Plateau. Ready for this? Don't be too eager for a fight. Remember why you're here. I actually really dig the battle music for this game.
Wow, growth only hits one person in this game instead of three? Good to see that Whirlwind still hits multiple. Okay. Okay, Karis. Karis is like, I don't need your help. I kill him myself. How'd you like your first battle, Matthew? Now, don't forget to exploit your synergy fully, uh, fully during battles. But also know that you can't use it, um, you can use it while exploring, too. Synergy can help you get past obstacles. For instance, you can use synergy to move objects, like, that bar your path. Let's press onward. Oh, you know what? Let me do that. Do some pizza in the oven, and I had to wait for them to finish dishes. Gotcha. What kind of pizza? Pepperoni or cheese? Or is it combination? Ooh, combination. Love me a good combination pizza. I just wasted all of her uh, PowerPoints, didn't I? Do, 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 Yo! Double critical? Let's go! Triple critical? Alright! I'm rather bored with pizza, onion, and maybe bell pepper, but too many toppings ruin it for you. You wanna eat pizza and not handfuls of chopped veggies? Fair enough! Nothing wrong with that. I prefer a meat lover's pizza. Hold on. Good thinking, Matthew. Let me do it! Stop stopping me! You surprised Garrett. He didn't think you'd figure it out so easily. Good, Matthew. It's like you've known how to get uh, do this for years. So I bet Garrett wants to have the last word. Ah, <laughs> yes he does. You bet I do. Okay, when moving a rock like this, be sure to shove it all the way over the edge. Isaac, we made this test way too easy for them. Maybe, but that's but it's just a first step. Ah, it was too simple. Anyone could pass that test. What's all this about a test? Can you believe this, Matthew? You're both terrible. Putting this on, um, putting that in our way on purpose, right, Matthew? A little too excited, aren't you? That was only a first test. Okay, shut that rock off. Um, out of your way, just in case. Let's take a uh, let's take a quick look at your active synergy. Oh, I already have my active synergy. Let me all oh. Let's too much hand on this big yeah. I mean, not even newbies needed this much hand holding in the other two. Some games it just kills for you. They're luckily that they're lucky that I'm magnanimous enough to be able to just ignore it somewhat. Your uh, your synergy points will replenish naturally while walking, slowly, slowly but surely. So use it whenever you need to. Besides, look over there. The area around my, um around Alf brims with elemental power, with uh, which crystallizes in the form of synergy stones. And it just never stop. Uh, like you never tried the new Paper Mario game because the first few hours you watched was all hand holding and just never stopped. Fair enough. I actually really enjoy. Once you got past it, that was a really fun game. To me, at least. Um, I can definitely see why a lot of other people didn't like it. Um, it definitely wasn't the best Mario uh, Paper Mario in the series, uh, by far. Um, I think that that is still being held by a uh, thousand year door. Items can gain with synergy, um, regain synergy points by touching a stone with that, uh, with which then shatters. If you just touch one to restore your synergy points, it was an it's not was is an amazing game. That game is amazing to this day. I can replay that game hundreds of times and never get tired of it. 
Kind of like Legend of Dragoon. I can replay Legend of Dragoon hundreds of times and never get tired of it. Um, we have a trifecta here. Tech you, Rowan. What exactly is Karis eating? Why is she so strong? Why is she sh one shotting everything? You should try. You know, I've actually sw I was watching somebody play a randomizer for that. Um, it looks interesting. I'm actually kind of I'm considering trying one myself. I already have the emulator downloaded, so and the and the uh, the game, so I might as well try to see if I can find a randomizer for it. It seems like it'll be just hectic, hectic enough, you know? You made it to the bottom of the Goa Plateau. Good work. This is worse than a tutorial island. Some are web-based and some are apps. But we haven't reached our rail yet. That cave that Tyra flew um, to is still a hike away. I thought we would reach the cave long before it got dark. Now we're in for trouble. I never intended to on taking the kids into the tangled wood at night. This forest is said to transform at night, changing into a, a woods that ensnares those brave or foolish enough to enter after dark. We'll never be um well we've never been in the forest at night either. But now we have to find Tyrell, so let's press onward. Okay, good. Is that gonna really be the last time you guys stop me? Cause I'm gonna be really mad if you stop me again. Thank <laughs> you.